South Australia has recorded two new COVID-19 related deaths, a woman in her 60s and a man in his 90s. Key points. South Australia has recorded 1,671 new cases of COVID-19. South Australia has recorded 1,671 new cases of COVID-19. The number of cases has increased for two days in a row, along with nasal swab testing. The number of cases has increased for two days in a row, along with nasal swab testing MPs have turned up to parliament to vote on allowing phone voting at the state election. There are 210 people in hospital, including 18 people in intensive care and three on ventilators. The state recorded 1,671 new cases, up from 1,296 reported yesterday and 1,147 on Monday. The number of people tested via a nasal swab PCR test was up 19% on Monday to 9,953. The figure on Monday was also up 14% on Sunday, after a change in advice that day that anyone with symptoms should seek a PCR test, rather than a rapid antigen test rat. While that has always been the case, a temporary exception was made as case numbers started to climb in January, with symptomatic close contacts permitted to use a rat to confirm their diagnosis. Today's figures were revealed in a media release from SA Health rather than in a press conference by Premier Stephen Marshall for a second day in a row. SA Health said 295, or 17%, of the new cases today were among children aged under 12. Children aged up to 11 years made up 14% of the state's population at the 2016 census. A total of 1,714 cases have been reported in that age group since January 31st, when the first children returned to school, or about 11% of the overall number. MPs take seats in symbolic session on postal voting. The opposition and crossbenchers took their seats in South Australia's lower house this morning despite the absence of any government members in the chamber. The symbolic session in the House of Assembly was being used to argue for passage of a bill allowing phone voting for people who could be in COVID-19 isolation on the day of the state election, March 19. Premier Stephen Marshall labelled the unofficial meeting a stunt. He has refused to officially reconvene the House to do this because there was not enough time for an electronic or phone-in system for voters put into isolation in the two days before the poll to be arranged in time for the election. Opposition leader Peter Malinowskas told the chamber that thousands of people could be denied their democratic right. It is the choice of every last South Australian, he said. A choice that they present through the execution of a ballot and no one should be denied the right or the ability to have a say on their state's future. Opposition leader Peter Malinos Cass speaks about postal voting in Parliament today, while other Labor MPs look on. ABC News, Michael Clements. ABC election analyst Anthony Green said it was Labor that stalled the legislation when it was first introduced last year, and now it was far too late to pass it. When this bill was introduced in July last year, Mr. Chris Picton, speaking on behalf of Labor, was complaining the bill was introduced too close to the next election to be considered by the parliament, Mr Green said. If we're now just five weeks from the election doing the same thing, well, that's way too close. The Electoral Commission urged voters to plan ahead and apply for a postal vote now. The commission said it was finalising a range of COVID-safe polling options and would advise the public of those as soon as they were confirmed. Space to play or pause, M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. Watch duration, 2 minutes, 3 seconds, 2 minutes, and 3 seconds data shows many older Australians haven't had their booster.